This woman had just lost her baby, and she was eating the hospital lunch with a heavy heart. Across from her were a couple who were eagerly anticipating the arrival of their child. Suddenly, the wife felt a contraction and they were taken to the delivery room. The wife pushed with all her might while the husband held her hand and encouraged her. Unfortunately, the midwife delivered the heartbreaking news that their newborn had not survived. The couple cried tears of sorrow upon hearing the news. The midwife carried the baby down the long hallway, turning right at the end where the kitchen was located. At dinner time, this woman, like the one at the beginning, ate the tasteless hospital dinner with a heavy heart. This is a story that doesn't have a conclusion, but it's enough to send shivers down your spine. Molly is an introverted and quiet girl with few friends. The freak monster in her phone is her only good friend. She likes to play on her phone alone in the empty lot near the school, enjoying the feeling of solitude. However, Molly's peaceful life was shattered one day. The school bully, Tom, snatched her phone from behind and kicked her hard. Molly's head hit a rock and she passed out. It wasn't until the evening that Molly slowly regained consciousness and was surprised to see Freak Monster in front of her. Freak Monster told her that he had taught Tom a lesson and dragged his body and flew away. Tom had been missing for several days and no one knew where he went. That day, Molly returned to the empty lot to look for her phone and found that it was buried under a rock. However, she also discovered that her phone had captured the incident. It turned out that there was no freak monster. When she was being bullied, she awakened the beast inside her and fought back with all her might. <gasps> Help me! <gasps> he is gonna hurt me! Hey bro, stay away from her! <gasps> Thanks for saving me. I'm just trying to help. Here is your reward. Come here. <gasps> what? Get off from me. No! Leave, demon! <gasps> hey, bro! Take this! Thanks for saving me. I can do anything you ask me to. Bob is exploring deep in the jungle. Suddenly, a pitch black cave catches his eye. He cautiously makes his way inside. But what he sees leaves him stunned. There lies a woman wrapped in spider web. Quickly, Bob rushes over to help and gives her his coat. He carries the injured woman to seek help. But they have been walking for so long that the sky has grown dark, so they rest for a while. Suddenly, a beetle startles the woman awake. She extends her tongue and accidentally kisses Bob. Gradually, Bob realizes that something is not right with the woman, she is actually a spider demon with six legs. It is then that Bob discovers he has been wrapped in spider web. He pushes the woman away, but she does not intend to harm him. In his panic, Bob realizes he brought a document showing a giant spider. He knows he is in danger. Several months pass in the blink of an eye, Bob and the woman live happily ever after, and have children as the happy fruit of their love. Have you heard of this legend, if a pregnant woman cruelly kills a life, the soul of the murdered will be reborn into her child, haunting her for life? In a village in Africa, there exists a strict hierarchy where many people are enslaved. Among them is a small slave who is often sent to serve the lady of the house, washing her feet and such. However, this small slave secretly peeks at the lady's secret garden while washing her feet. The lady became very angry when she found out and told her husband, who was also furious. He stabbed the small slave and pushed him off a cliff. The slave's pitiful cries echoed through the night. Later, the lady gave birth to a child, but everyone was shocked by the child's appearance. His face was exactly like the small slave's. The man believed that his wife and the small slave must have done something unspeakable, so he stabbed his wife. Whether this legend is true or not, it warns us not to do things that harm others, otherwise we will suffer the consequences. The sky was drizzling as Casey walked down the street with an umbrella, feeling uneasy. He was going to meet a new client tonight, but he noticed that the walls on the street were all covered with missing persons notices, which made him feel a little creepy. Soon, Casey arrived at the entrance of an old, large house. As he was about to enter, he suddenly heard a woman scream coming from the yard. 
he rushed into the yard and found a woman being attacked by a monster. The woman was grabbed by the neck and couldn't break free. Casey quickly threw his umbrella at the monster, successfully pushing it back, and the woman was finally able to escape. The woman ran to Casey, took his hand, and they ran into the house together. Once inside the house, the woman suddenly turned around and hooked Casey's neck, laying him down. <laughs> at this moment, Casey found that the environment around him suddenly turned into a pile of skeletons, and the woman also turned into a forest of white bones. Casey was so scared that he screamed out loud, only to realize that he was already trapped in a coffin buried underground and unable to get out. In the end, the missing person's notice on the wall added one more name, Casey, 